Now, this is what's going to be my O-ring stuff here. And these are the injectors. They're in a white box. But I want to see if I can identify the brand of uh, injector here. Okay, so let's open and see. Let's sample one here. 19 pound fuel injector. And uh, it sure looks like the uh, A cell. And it says 19 pounds per hour. There's another number on here stamped. 2039. And then here's another number. 01D108D. It does look new. Um, it looks like there's three nozzles on this thing. Looks like it. Three nozzles. This should be the input side. Off. It goes to the rail itself. Yep. Okay. Now, I will try to cross-reference this on my computer later to see if these numbers on here mean anything but there's that okay so fuel injectors here um all right what else we got here here is our straight aluminum tube Okay, this is the rail with the mounting hardware. Hmm. Oh, it looks like I thought the uh, adjustable fuel pressure regulator was already going to be on the rail here, but it is not. So it's going to be up to my geniusness to install this, or is there going to be any kind of instruction with that? I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, here's a barb that screws in somewhere uh, and goes to a 5 16th line. Here's our K&N, which, you know, the, even though they put it in their own packaging, there's some numbers on here. I believe this is the air control valve. Or air, air idle, not air, air control, air idle control valve. So that's controls your idle. Uh, let me pick up these plates and sort it out over here for a second. All right, so this is for our adapter for the throttle position. Okay, this is, well, it looks like it screws onto something. That's what that is. Here is another adapter, okay? And this thing is pretty big. That's why I'm hoping, hoping that there's going to be some type of instruction there. Uh, this is for a cold start valve uh, block off plate. This is a uh, a harness specifically made, and I hope it works with my uh, harness. Uh, connects your uh, says right there. Fuel pump relay harness, and it will connect to the uh, the fast FI's uh, easy ECU. Okay. So that's a relay harness. It looks nice. Anyway, here is the main box. Uh, all right. And there is the uh, EZRF. Okay. Sure hope my lately my camera has not been pointing far enough down. 
Let me lower this just a tad. Looks like it's crooked as well. All right, that's a little bit lower for looking down. If I'm looking up, I got to tilt it the other way. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so let's see if we can get a better view here. If you take these screws out, I guess, it looks like your warranty is voided. Okay. So this is what we got here. We got one easy EF fast whatever uh what are these these look like uh they attach to the harness and then to the fuel injectors all right ah uh, yeah this is a suction cup for your display really i want to make sure i got the display i want to get here is this it right here maybe there's something in here Okay, there's our display. So, I sure do want to just take a quick look at the display here. Make sure it's... Well, it's got a protective coating on here, and it also appears that it's 100% touchscreen. Uses a USB type... Well, it's the old-style USB connection. Very big. So, okay. There's that. I was wondering if they would send the right one, and it looks like they did. Okay, and here's some more uh, labels. Um, handheld cable. Handheld cable? I'm not sure exactly what that means. Uh, I think it means it goes from here to there. From the uh, display over to here. I don't know. Let me see here. Oh, wait. It's going to go to some type of harness here, I guess. So, anyway, here we go. Here's our O2 sensor. Yep. See, this is the... Uh, you can tell because it's square that this is the older style O2 sensor. Um, what is that called? LSU 4.2, where the newer ones are 4.9. But I already knew that getting into this. It ain't like a shock that it's the older style. Uh, I don't know. Anybody? Let me take a longer look at it. Uh, still don't know. Okay, but it was in there. And uh, it may not, it may be for a V8 car. I don't know yet. Uh, is there any label on here what this one goes to? These are connectors that go to the various sensors. Various sensors. Um, maybe to mount into the, mount the, uh, the fast uh, ECU, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Oh. I know what that is. This is, uh, I think, the O2 bung here. Uh, my headers already have a bung on them, so... Okay. So, anyway, we're getting down deeper into it. Here is our big mother harness, which I will stretch out on the table later to take a look at. Um, here's some more harness. Oh, okay, this is, uh, some, uh, you know, instead of plastic, I guess somebody commented how they were using, uh, I guess, uh, cheap, uh, plastic, and this is, uh, some kind of, you know, fiber spun. Decals, well, I don't use decals, sorry or emblems or anything uh, another goes to another sensor or something who knows yet and finally the manual I think uh oh it's beeping at me I think that means I just went past the 15 minute point anyway uh, it's showing all the uh, this is just a schematic not necessarily be used 
and less troubleshooting, I would think. Here are the instructions. Are there any specific instructions that apply to the 280Z on here? I doubt it. Uh, but anyway, there's some, you know, pictures here. Pictures, pictures, pictures. Scan it, scan it, scan it. I don't know if fast or uh, or Z Car Depot want me to uh, post these online. I'm sure, there's some kind of copyrights. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to unbox these little boxes here. And some of these things are, these are the parts that uh, Z Car Depot decided to use with this thing. T-Series, okay. Anyway, this is a one bar map sensor. I don't know whose numbers these are, but I think you hook up your vacuum source right on here. And that doesn't mean much. <laughs> So map sensor, you can find them all day long on eBay or Amazon, they're pretty, or O'Reilly's or AutoZone, pretty cheap, as probably most of the sensor is in here, idle air control, that's going to hook up to uh, that K&N, I believe there, but there it is, this is exactly, you know, it looks like I have, you know, all the part numbers that you can purchase either locally or online if you need to. Either through uh, Amazon and Z Car Depot or eBay or fast. I don't know, you pick the cheapest place if you ever had to replace. I don't know if there's any kind of warranty. Alright, that is our throttle position sensor. And it says T-Series, so they're all using a very similar box here. And T, not Z, T. So, you could probably Google it. I'll, I'm going to guess, this is like I'm Karnak the Magnificent here. I'm holding it to my head. It's been in a mayonnaise jar since uh, this morning. Uh, this is probably the fuel pressure gauge. It's not labeled. No, it's just a white box, but there it is. Now, really, this was they this was the lowest price of anything out there. Hopefully, it's of uh, good quality. Oh, you know what I haven't seen yet? I have not seen the adjustable fuel pressure regulator. Now, maybe it's in here. Yeah, it's in there. I can see it now. Okay. We'll unbox that in a minute here. Okay, so these have already been opened. Uh, let's go through a few more parts here because you need to inventory. You don't want to lose a single... There are some parts in here. If you lose them, you're screwed. Okay. Alright, so this is another sensor valve. Oh. Okay, neighbor's coming home. All right, uh, I know what this is. I think this is what goes into the, uh, before the, uh, it goes into the boot before the, uh, uh, it's called the air temperature uh, control sensor. And hopefully it's going to fit in my original stock boot here. And it looks like it will. So that's great. Otherwise, if you've got those silicone ones that Z Car is selling, you're going to have to cut a hole in those. So that looks like it'll work. Okay. I sure hope I'm not missing anything yet. See, it's parts like these that I'm going to have to look up to see what it, where it's meant to go. Because I don't think the instructions are good enough. I, can, I know where 99%, well, nine, at least 90% of everything in here already know where it goes. And this is probably our water coolant sensor. Okay. And you can see AC Delco. 
and uh, it looks like you know Z Car Depot. They usually put their own stickers over the uh, these numbers here, but you know. If you went to O'Reilly's or AutoZone, you say, I need one of these, they go, here you go. <laughs> That'll be $20, please. Oh, yeah, here's the K&N here. And where is that control valve, uh, air control valve? I don't air, con I think this goes in that. Oh, it screws in there, yes. This is important here, folks. should know this. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this needs to screw into there. And then, oh, or no, it screws into there? It screws into one of these ends here. It's got two different ends here. Okay, one, okay, the round end with the big holes in it, that's where the uh, filter is going. And this end is where this is going. Uh, right, right, right. And then there's a... Uh, where do you attach it after that? I don't know. Uh, it's got to go somewhere, right? Idle air control valve. I thought there would be something more here that I would hook up. You know, a vacuum source. But they're not showing it. So, I don't know about this yet. But these two go together. That part I do know. So anyway, uh, hats off to the guys who have already installed this, even though they didn't explain very m much. They did give me a few hints uh, about what does what. A few, but I can see a majority they didn't. 